Hello children, how are you all? Sangeeta ma'am is here again with mathematics today. We have learned tall and short. We have learned tall and short. We have understood the concept. Yes, I hope you have seen all the examples and you have answered the right one to your mama and papa in the last slide and which I have shown you in the last class. Okay, today we will do the same concept one more time. But today there is an experiment which you can do at home. Okay, uh, take few glasses. Take uh, six glasses in uh, on the uh, take six glasses and take four glasses. Okay, in one set you take six, in the other set you take four glasses. Okay, and what you're going to do is you try to stack the glasses one over the other. You're going to keep the glasses one over the other. All the six glasses will come along like this and all the four glasses will come. You'll be keeping one over the other. And afterwards, you tell to your mama and papa which is tall and which is short. Which is tall and which is short. And you need to give the reason why this set is tall and why the other set is short. Okay, you need to give the reason also why it is tall and why it is short. Okay, if you do, if you don't, if you do not want to do with glasses, you can do with any other material way. Do you know you can keep one over the other? Maybe you have building blocks. You can keep one over the other. Take uh, you can at in one at in one set you take more and one set you take less. Okay, we've learnt more and less. So you take one set more and one set less. But children see whatever you're taking all should be equal. All should be equal so that you will get the correct uh, measurement. Okay, you will get the correct uh, this thing whether it's tall or short equal because all should be equal. All your building blocks should be equal. Okay, so now after doing this activity, after doing this activity, you're going to put the things back in the place. But if you have taken the glasses from the kitchen, you're going to properly wash them, clean them and then keep it in the kitchen. Okay, just don't give it to uh, mama, just don't leave. Even your building blocks, if you're trying to do something, keep them back in your place, Pick, keep them back in your box. Okay, anything children, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, be it writing, be it playing toys, your, uh, whatever the girls have a lot of kitchen sets I know must be having kitchen sets, barbie sets and all, all those sets and boys will have a lot of cars yes so all those things you're going to keep them properly in back in the place and you I hope you're helping your mama and papa in the kitchen and in the house yes so now after doing, doing this activity you're going to do the activity in little think of mathematics okay Shall we have a look at the activity, children? It's very simple. Okay. Children, for home fun activity, you need to open to Little Thinker Mathematics. Op uh, take uh, Little Thinker Mathematics and turn, uh, turn to page number 4 to 42. Turn to page number 4 to 42. It's very simple, children. There's a flag which is given over here, blue color flag. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to draw a tall flag. You're going to draw a tall flag. Okay, take a scale. With the help of scale, draw lines. Uh, take help of mama also children and don't allow mama to draw. Tell mama you give me instructions, help me in... Or uh, teaching how to hold the scale, draw the lines, okay? Flag is usually in a rectangle shape, children. Flag is usually in a rectangle shape. So, you can draw a big pole, tall pole and a rectangle shape flag and color it. Color it, okay? The example which they have given is the shorter one doesn't have color on the pole. You can color even that part also. Okay, children? Uh, I hope you understood the home fun activity. 
बाय स्टे सेफ स्टे हेल्दी